Hey guys, Thunderset here, showing you a bunch of new cards, a bunch of new Red Eyes support, a brand new way to play Red Eyes. Let's start by saying it doesn't use Slash Dragon at all, we don't even use vanilla Red Eyes, but there's tons of old Red Eyes cards. It's uh, great. Let me start by saying this deck is so strong. I love this deck. I might try to run it to King of Games early next month. I love, love, love this deck. I'm just worried how it's going to do versus Subterrors, because Subterrors are going to be everywhere. And I don't know how well it's going to do versus Subterrors, because it kind of relies on the monsters being face up with Archfiend Lightning. And Subterrors are not face up, so I don't know how it's going to do versus Subterrors. That might be a big brick wall for this deck. But other than that, it does great versus everything else. It's a wonderful way to play Red Eyes. It's my new favorite way to play Red Eyes, guys. It's crazy. So let's start with the new cards first. We're using two copies of Black Metal Dragon. He can become an equipped card for your Red Eyes monster, any Red Eyes monster. They gain 300, and when he's sent from the equipment spot, you get to search. When he's destroyed, you get to search. All sorts of cool stuff. We also have the new card, Red Eyes Baby Dragon. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster from your deck. That's this guy. When you special summon, you equip this card, they gain 300 attack. This card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster. You can add one level 1 dragon type monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Or sorry, from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So we have a few level 1 dragon type monsters here that he will search for us. All sorts of great stuff, guys. Our boss monster is Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning. You know his effect. You got a normal, or sorry, Gemini summon to get it but it'll destroy any monster whose defense is lower than your current attack. It's important you know current attack, not your base attack. So you can use beatdown and stuff and these little attack modifiers to get over higher defense monsters. Pretty cool. Another new card is the Blackstone of Legend. I love this card. You can tribute this card, special summon one level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster, this guy. So we special summon him, put a supervise on him, now his effect is live. So, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster, return it into your deck, and then you add this card back to your hand. So, very useful. Another great way to get our Archfiend Lightning out. We can use Supervise to make his uh, effect live. So you can Normal Summon the Stone of Legend, Special Summon the Archfiend Lightning, use Supervise, now you have his effect. We of course have Red Eyes Insight to get him in the graveyard, to search ways to get him out of the graveyard, onto the field. Uh, we're only using two spirit and then we're using return of the red eyes This is useful because it has a special summon when it's destroyed face up that we actually use quite often and it's a uh, It's like a perpetual Spirit for your archfiend lightning. So once you burn through your spirits, you still have this to get a little more than one Resurrection off and then of course we have the old retro dragon two copies of retro dragon. He's fantastic Special summoning, you can search him now with cards, it's it's even better. This deck claps guys, this deck is so strong. I love this deck. I don't know how it's going to be versus sub terrors, I haven't gotten to test it yet, but it's, it's very strong versus everything else, it's so so strong. So I hope you guys enjoy the replays, thanks a lot. So this deck is just insanely sticky, you're just keeping your Archfiend Lightning on the field like crazy and his effect is just so threatening with all the ways to modify his attack in this deck with beatdown and metal dragon and baby dragon you're getting over like 3300 you know that's everyone's defense so here we're fighting metaphys he starts by banishing a tyrant dragon and normal summoning a neftis the tyrant dragon's effect let him summons another neftis the first neftis gets banned at the end phase because of the field spell Gets his search, searches his trap. We just set a black metal dragon. We have tons of monsters in our hand. You usually don't want these guys in your hand, and we got two of them. So, destroys our black metal dragon. That gives us a search. We search an insight to get um, an archfiend lightning. Actually, in the graveyard, we take a daedalus to the chin. His neftis gets banned in the end phase. That's going to trigger his dimension. We're looking pretty bad here. We only have 1400 life. What are we going to do? Start with the insight, throw our, our last archery lightning in the grave. Now we have a spirit. Set the spirit, and we set a baby dragon that gets banished 
by magic or metaphys dimension because of his banish so now he gets a metaphys banished again tries to banish our spirit we chain spirit to summon our first archine lightning it is now his turn he gets to special summon his neftis because of dimension when we special summon he gets to special summon one of his banished he normal summons a tyrant dragon banishes again with a neftis does not get the effect swings into our arching lightning that triggers our retro dragon we summon another arching lightning hits our retro dragon i'm going to use retro dragon again for two different retro dragons because i really want to swing lethal and you'll get to see what else retro dragon does with his effect so he does have a second effect, you'll see right now. So he searches a Daedalus because of his Neftis ban. We normal summon our Archfiend Lightning. I make a massive misplay. I don't look at this guy's defense. It's 2500 defense. If I just would have used Beatdown, I would have been over his defense. 2800. My effect would have killed him. We would have swung for game right here. Massive misplay. We had lethal. What I have to do instead now, I use one of my Retro Dragon's effects to have an extra tribute. I tribute the other retro dragon for another Archfiend Lightning. Now I have two beatdowns that allows me to swing over him. Not lethal. Close to lethal. That's why it's a misplay. We had lethal in game there, but it was a misplay. Turns out to not cost us a duel. He just summons a Tyrant Dragon. We have Archfiend Lightning. I bring out a baby with the red stone. Or sorry, black stone. Use beatdown correctly this time. Use his effect, swing for game. There you go. So, misplay didn't really cost us, but it was a big misplay, so yeah. So I'm gonna try to let these replays play out pretty quick. Uh, obviously we don't use an extra deck in this deck at all. We have one to bluff, but we don't use one. No fusion whatsoever, no vanilla red eyes. Just going straight arch lightning and great support. Great red eye support for that one boss monster. So here we're fighting an arch fiend of their own. We start with the Insight, throw Archfiend Lightning in the grave. We have two ways to summon him and a bunch of support monsters. So we're going to place our Baby Dragon, Normal Summoned, put our Black Metal Dragon onto him, and Suicide into this Calvary that's going to give us two different searches just for 100 life points. So we get both of their search, replenish our hand with a Retro Dragon, and we Special Summon with the Baby Dragon, with the Archfiend Lightning, get hit by a Canadia. Stops everything. Now we have an Archfiend Lightning on the field though, an extra one. Here he uses um, Card of the Soul that lets him search an Archfiend Emperor because he's at 5,000. Normal summons it, uses cards, uh, or sorry, Advanced Draw. That lets him draw two for attributing a level 8 or higher monster. He now brings that level 8 monster back up even stronger. Aims for our Return of the Red Eyes. We flip it face up. When it's face up destroyed, you get a special summon from your graveyard. That's another Red Eyes Arch Lightning. Uh, Arch Fiend Lightning, sorry. He kills our second one. That lets us use our Retro Dragon. He's ending his turn. We're gonna bring out our second Arch Fiend Lightning. Normal Summon 1. Use his effect to completely wipe the field. Calvary has an effect to Special Summon when he's destroyed by effect. So we jump on our Black or uh, Black Metal Dragon onto our Archie and Lightning, beat down up to 3700, 3100, 1700. That's game, guys. Very quick, multiple Archie and Lightning effects if we want them. Great duels, guys. So I'm just in love with this deck. I really don't want to mess with the balance of it and have to put like three Forbidden Chalice in it to get around sub tears or something silly like that. Uh, it would really suck to have to do that. But we'll see how the matchup goes. I feel like it's going to have a hard time versus sub -tares, but you got to test and see. It's just because they're banishing our resources and we really can't have our resources banished and stuff like that. So here I'm just going to let this duel play out. Uh, this is versus a counter fairy deck. Counter fairy decks, they counter a lot of stuff, but they're very easy to counter themselves. I'm about to show you. So here we're using our first, we have a baby set. A Return of Red Eyes, a Spirit Set, we're trying to use our Archfiend Lightning's effect, gets uh, Divine Punishment, we use, uh, try to use Return of the Red Eyes, that gets countered by Dark Bribe, so he's just countering everything we're doing right now, that's what a counter deck does, it's okay though, 
He has an 1800 monster and one more trap card down. Red Eyes return when it's destroyed face up, which it was face up and it was destroyed. We get to special summon Archfiend Lightning. Here, I beat down. I don't use his effect. We have the Baby Dragon. We swing in. Broke his field. We're doing okay now. He summons the Sage of the Sky. Baby Dragon triggers his effect. That triggers the Divine Punishment we knew he had. Baby Dragon special summon will not happen. He gets to gain a thousand life points and destroy my Archfiend Lightning. We use our spirit before his trap is live to bring Archfiend Lightning back. Normal summon him, we get hit with a scolding that destroys him. Does not trigger our Retro Dragon. Looking bad, but all he has is a 1600 monster, so we just summon a 1700 monster. Swing right over it, no problem. Has another trap. That's no problem either. We normal summon our Archfiend Lightning. Swing for game, guys. That's why counter traps, they just get beat by strong monsters. You can just normal summon. So, so we're facing Arcana. You always think blue eyes, but I don't think that's really the case anymore since they don't use uh, his skill for blue eyes anymore. So who knows what we're fighting. Turns out we're fighting a six samurai. They have a Fuma and a Kizan, you know, that means it's a Shien right out the gates. Even with a Dojo and a Face Down. Uses this Dojo to special summon a Fuma. As you can see, we do not have an optimal hand. Let's see what we draw into. We get a Black Stone. You're about to see why this card is so awesome. To start us off, we bring out an Archfiend Lightning immediately. We get to use one Supervise. Of course, Shien's gonna stop us. But don't worry, we have two supervise. Here we go. We choose to use the red eyes inside first, dump a lightning, search the return of the red eyes. If Xi'an was to negate return of the red eyes, we'd be able to special summon with it too. Because he destroys it. So here, we get to use our second supervise since we're free. That brings our effect live. We're about to destroy both his monsters. He's trying to dodge it with the cutting of the six Sam. Little does he know it's going to resolve before my effect resolves, destroying his monsters. Fuma would have got to special summon, but he was dead in the water anyway, guys, so he, he scoops. So this next duels versus an archetype I think is really underrated, even today. And uh, I think it's still really strong, I think it's still really relevant. This guy probably should have used a different skill or something, but uh, it's UA. So I think UA are still really strong. It should be more popular, but you don't really see it. I think it's a really strong versatile deck. So he starts by normal summoning a rebound or a sorry a midfielder. Special summons a rebounder. We get an insight through our Archfiend Lightning. We have all three ways to summon him, and we set a baby dragon. I don't think setting a baby dragon will trigger his effect, but that's okay. We're gonna spirit our first Archfiend of Lightning. We get a supervise. Try to use Supervise to get Canadia. If we had another Archfiend Lightning in our grave, Supervise would have summoned him, but we didn't. We get a flip him face up since it was still our turn. Normal summon him for the Gemini effect. Get hit by a second Canadia. So this guy has a sick opening hand. Just Canadias and midfielder and everything he needs. Summons his midfielder. Also had a penalty box. Banishes one Archfiend Lightning. Tries to swing with the rebounder. We use our spirit to bring out the baby dragon. Now that he's face up, he's gonna use his effect. We have Archfiend Lightning equipped with the baby dragon. We get his effect. We beat down. Use the effect. Wipe the board all but a Canadia because he's not affected by monster effects. We're one more turn and our boy comes back. He summons a midfielder. Special summons a rebounder. Hits us with penalty box. Two banished. So we're gonna set our metal dragon. Uh, one Archfiend of Lightning comes back from UA Penalty Box, summons Midfielder, summons a Slugger. Slugger prevents our search with the Metal Dragon, and he kills our Archfiend of Lightning. Here, we get a normal summon a Retro Dragon, special summon an Archfiend of Lightning. Now we get to use Retro Dragon's other effect to tribute himself, and we get another normal summon. So we get a Gemini summon, beat down into our effect, wipe the board, swing, now our second Archfiend of Lightning's back, things are snowballing in our direction again, he uh, banishes one of our Archfiend Lightning, we have another who is already Gemini summoned, hit him with the board, we have a baby dragon to help clear, 
super fast stuff. So as you can see, Retro Dragon's second effect even really has a lot of synergy with Archfiend Lightning to get that second normal summon off. So I just normal summon to Retro Dragon to make Return of Red Eyes live, bring him back, use Retro Dragon for another summon. Instant effects, guys. Super great. I love this deck. It's so strong. I don't know how it's gonna do versus sub terrors, that's scaring me. But other than that, this deck is great versus everything, so try it out. It's so much fun, guys. Thanks for watching.